Hey guys, this is Woodcraft CZ. In this video, I'll be going over making a cheap disposable epoxy mold. As you can see, I'm using pieces of cardboard and just wrapping them in a regular see-through sellotape. The sellotape helps prevent the epoxy from sticking to the cardboard, making releasing the form very easy. I'm now putting the sellotape on the melamine baseboard. This is for the very same reasons I sellotape the cardboard. So what I'm doing now is clamping the first cardboard panel to the piece of stock that I'm going to epoxy. I'm doing this so I get a fairly straight edge flush to the piece of wood. So I'm using just a general purpose silicone to attach the cardboard to the melamine base. A handy trick I found to stop the silicone from drying out is using the glove that I apply it with as a cover for the nozzle. This stops air getting it and curing the silicone inside. Here I'm just applying a bit of pressure with my finger to make the joint smooth and make sure the silicone makes full contact. Okay, so because I was doing the video on this, I think I rushed the curing time. You normally want to leave this 24 hours before you um, revisit it. I didn't, and it'll become evident what happens later. So just reclamping and attaching the second side to the mold. and just reapplying the silicone, much like I did before. Okay, so now I'm getting the end panels ready. Just gonna sellotape the cardboard and get it sized to fit. So basically, I'm just siliconing where the pieces of cardboard meet the edges. This is just to seal the unit as one with the aim of preventing any leaks. Okay, so I messed up taking the clamps off. As you can see, it just pretty much fell apart. That's due to the fact that I didn't let it cure for long enough to form a strong enough bond. So again, I'll repeat myself, leave it for 24 hours. Fortunately for me, the silicone was tacky enough for it to hold its shape. I managed to salvage it, well, at the time I thought I did, um, with just reapplying some more silicone, and eventually I just held it together with some duct tape. But my mistake will have some repercussions later on. Usually you don't have to use so much silicone, but in this instance I had to just to give it some extra sticking power.
So now I'm just laying some sticky plastic in case of leaks. Okay, so now time to mix the epoxy. I'm actually using a thin pour epoxy in this case, which is ice cast by ice epoxy. It's pretty much my go-to epoxy for both thin and thick pours. Obviously for the thick pours, I use the appropriate type. To note, the hardener has gone a bit yellow. This happens over time and when it gets, and when it gets exposed to air. I had it laying around, so just wanted to use it up in this pour. So initially I didn't add any pigment to the epoxy, but then when I had a look and saw how much epoxy I had left, I'd had a change of heart and added Added some eye candy, Green Ghost, I think. Okay, now, so I'm clamping it so it doesn't bulge or disfigure. I'm giving it a quick look around for any leaks. Seems to be settling nicely. But unfortunately, we have a leak in the side. I think this is due to two factors. Primarily, the first being that I didn't let it cure for long enough. Again, I can't stress, give it the full cure time, whatever the silicone you're using recommends. And secondly, because of the amount of silicone I did use, I think it would have extended the cure time even further. It's not a bad leak, so I'm just using some kitchen towel to dab it and slow down the leak. A bit like applying gauze to a wound to stop the bleeding. Okay, so the next day, we're unpacking the mold. The epoxy's cured. The leak wasn't too bad. The kitchen towel did the work, as you can see. And we're just unpacking it. The walls of the form seem to come off easily, apart from one side, which I think the sellotape had a small gap in and it leaked into the cardboard itself, but that's no big deal. As you can see just then, some of the silicone still hadn't cured, so that was evident. The leak was going to happen, but nonetheless, it looks all right. So here we have the finished epoxy form. And this is the finished product. The epoxy mold did the job and it was cheap and effective. So I hope you guys can take something away from this and apply it to your own scenario. If you haven't already and found something useful in this video, please consider subscribing and giving this video a like. It would be greatly appreciated. I'll see you in the next video, guys.